Now to the good news that we've all been waiting for. We could have a vaccine soon. Before you get your hopes up, it could take one year, perhaps more, for each one of you to get a shot. But it's almost ready to be rolled out. That's what the makers of the vaccine say. On Monday, Pfizer announced a major milestone. Its vaccine for the Wuhan virus is more than 90% effective. This is apparently a major breakthrough. But some of us were more worried about the remaining 10%. What is 90% effective after all? So we made a list of questions and looked for answers. And here's what we found. Question number one, what is this vaccine? Pfizer is a global pharmaceutical giant. You must have heard about it. It tied up with BioNTech. It's a German company. And this tie-up was to make the Wuhan virus vaccine. Yesterday, the company said it has achieved the century's biggest medical breakthrough. They claim to have made a vaccine in just six months, and they say it is 90% effective. It's a, a great day for science. It is a great day for humanity. When you realize that uh, your vaccine has a 90% effectiveness, that's overwhelming. Uh, you understand that uh, the hopes of billions of people and millions and uh, businesses and hundreds of governments that were felt on our shoulders now we can uh, credibly try them. I think we can see light at the end of the tunnel. So what is 90% effective? Is it a good rate of efficacy? Quite simply, it can prevent 90% of the people from getting the virus. So what is the recommended rate of efficacy for a vaccine? The US FDA had set it at 50%. So has the WHO, meaning if a vaccine is 50% effective, America will approve it. And the World Health Organization will also approve it. And by that standard, 90% is a very good strike rate. This vaccine has been tested on more than 40,000 people in six countries so far. The United States, Brazil, Argentina, South Africa and Turkey. Those who got the vaccine in the trial got two shots. They showed a 90% protection within seven days after the second dose. Now, this is the kind of result that the world has been hoping for. A knockout punch to defeat the Wuhan virus. But should you trust Pfizer? Is this vaccine safe? Has it got a safety certificate? Again, the, again, the answer, I'm afraid, is no. The company has a long road ahead to get that safety certificate. So while the breakthrough is major, the result needs to be peer-reviewed. Other scientists will have to study and verify it. They will check things like how long this protection lasts, how well it works across age groups, the vaccine, and what are the side effects, if any. So we can say that Pfizer is ahead in the vaccine race, but it hasn't won it yet. Is the trial still on? The answer again is yes. The effectiveness of any vaccine can only be determined in the long term. So even if the trial ends, the studies will continue. So far, the volunteers are not showing any side effects, and that's good news. Also, this research has proved that vaccine development can be fast-tracked in some cases. And now the question we all want answered. When will you and I get it? Well, it depends on where you are. And how old you are, if you're under 50 with no medical history, you will be last in the queue. And that holds for any vaccine, Pfizer or otherwise. Countries around the world will prioritize access to vaccines. This is the order of priority. First comes the hospital staff, doctors and nurses, care home workers. They will get the vaccine first. This will be followed by the elderly with serious health conditions. And this could mean mass inoculation, will only be possible after 2021. So you'll have to hold on to your mask for several more months. Meanwhile, preparations must begin on how vaccines will be given out. How will they be stored? This may pose a big challenge. Reports say this vaccine needs to be stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius, 70, minus 70. Even in advanced countries like America, major cities do not have facilities to store millions of doses at that temperature. For India, this would be an even bigger challenge. If you look at, say, India, um, India has the largest uh, universal immunization program in the world. It can vaccinate 56 million children a year uh, with 4 million doses, 400 million doses. But put that into the context of coronavirus and, and COVID-19 immunization. And 
if they want herd immunity, you could be talking of having to vaccinate, vaccinate a billion people twice. So, so the numbers are, 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 are far, far bigger here. Talking about big numbers, the stock markets are cheering the news. After the Pfizer announcement, its stock hit a 52-week high. Here's something else that's interesting. Even Zoom, the video calling service, felt the impact of this development. Zoom shares, interestingly, dropped 20%. Looks like investors are desperate to get out of the work-from-home mode. Indian markets cheered this development too. The Sensex hit a record high today, zooming up 680 points. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Vion, world is one.